know what you guys are worried about. How could it not fly? How could it not? <clears throat> it was, I was getting a reading of about uh, just under just under four miles an hour. The breeze coming down the field. Beautiful field here. And I spun it up and I walked behind it gently. I didn't want to get too far away. And I don't like Tim's method of starting left and working to right. I'd rather have the model going in front of me. It's an old file thing. So uh, I just opened the throttle, pulled back on the stick, eased it forward, followed behind it. It's good having nice fine grass because it slows your tra travel down. So many times people on a bitumen surface, model gets away from them, gives a bit of drag. So I followed it, eased off on the stick, gave it power, bloody thing jumped into the air all by itself and did went into a circuit. I did have to go to full back stick and full back trim, up elevator. And I was flying it like that. And when I did my landing, I ran out of back stick. So just to come in, just on my final as I came in, it was coming in pretty steep. I had to give it a burst of power to get the nose up a little bit. And it settled down as good as gold. <coughs> so I have just gone and put a few clicks more back trim on it. And I took out all of one nut. Amazingly enough, I'm only running about 15 degrees back on the head. And after uh, Werner with his big one, he's running up to 18 degrees, I think he said last time. So I was a bit dubious. Doesn't need any more than that. There's a ton of weight on the front, but the wing loading is, say, it's well under five ounces. So I can just see the wind starting to pick up a, a little bit again. What's it look like? No, it's not here. It's out, it's out in the field. It's, uh, it's a bit protected here. Come on. Five dollars on eBay. What do you expect? There we go. Three miles an hour. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, so I shall give it another whirl and hopefully I've got a smile on my face next time. Doesn't always happen.